Dwayne Roth was charged with two counts of sexual assault in 2020. A woman alleged that he sexually assaulted her at a party and at a hotel in 2017. He lost his job as the CEO of the Fort Mackay Métis Group as a result of the charges. In June of this year, those sexual assault charges were withdrawn before his trial began. A month later, he filed a $10 million lawsuit against the RCMP, the Métis Nation of Alberta, and its president, Audrey Portra, along with several individuals. He alleges that the RCMP failed to interview witnesses and did not properly investigate. The police didn't look into it enough. They, 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 you know, they could have seen that there were some holes in the case. They should have looked at it better. They should have investigated, uh, talked to some of the witnesses, any of the witnesses, even ask me. Uh, they, they never come to talk to me about the case until I was charged. According to the statement of claim, there was a conspiracy amongst Portra and other individuals to fabricate the sexual assault allegation. The conspirators agreed to fabricate the sexual assault, intending to cause direct damage to the plaintiff and, by extension, indirect damage to the family plaintiffs. The conspiracy. As a result of the conspiracy, the plaintiffs have suffered damages. He is asking for compensation for loss of past and future income as well as damage to his reputation. As a result uh, of being charged, I was uh, fired from my job and uh, no fault to uh, Fort Mackay for firing me. I mean, it was very serious and it would harm their ability to, uh, to conduct business when their CEO is facing such serious charges. So they had to do what they felt they needed to do. And um, as a result, uh, you know, my income was affected. My future income is affected. My mental health was affected. My wife, my poor wife, uh, had to go through, uh, you, know, you know, she stood by me all the way through, right by my side, because she knows in her heart what did not happen, what the truth is. The RCMP head office did not reply to APTN's request for comment. The Métis Nation of Alberta says they will not comment as the issue is before the courts. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Edmonton.